Now here's the thing that's cool about this, if you guys didn't know. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep upgrading our cargo. It's 150 thou now. It keeps getting more expensive, all the way up to a million. But every time I summon the anomaly into a new system, I can redo this. I can get another suit upgrade, which is really neat. All right, welcome back everybody to some No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming. We're going to continue on. Um, we've got this search for clues about Artemis on this and other worlds. And view the pinned upgrade recipe in the log. View the pinned upgrade recipe in the log. Let's look, let's actually look at that for a minute. What are they talking about exactly? Oh, the phase, uh, excuse me, the pulse spitter thing. Yeah, okay, we're not worried about that right now. That's not important at the moment. So uh, we're going to take off, and we're going to see if we can get to the space anomaly this in this episode. But I'm not promising it this time. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever actually promised it, but uh, it was always it's always been my intention in the last what four episodes to get to the damn space anomaly and. Other stuff keeps happening. Other good stuff, but still other stuff. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, consider sharing out the video on your social media, like your discords and all that sort of thing, and uh, leave a comment. Those things help the channel. Really appreciate it. Okay, let's get started here. Communicator. Artemis Entity, we received your signal. Is it first? Is it last? Right trigger. Nothing. Time for truth. You have their signal, but you are not Artemis Entity. Tell the truth. Of course I'm going to tell the truth. Your signal is familiar, Tanana. We have been in contact before, I think. This would be a good time to come aboard, yes? A proper introduction to our home? Uh, of course it would. Whoa. Okay. Um. What's happening here? Space station. Oh, there we go. All right. The anomaly, you guys. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. It's a beautiful sight. Let's go. <laughs> it only took us how many episodes to get here, but we're finally here. Nifty, nifty, nifty. All right. There we go. This place is very cool. There's a lot of people here, too. Okay, very good. We are finally at the anomaly. Big, big landmark, or milestone, rather, for us. Okay. So, here's what we gotta do. Um, we've gotta go... Basically talk to just about everybody, including Nada and Polo. Limon... Limon pills? <laughs> Nifty. Cool to see other real players in the game. Uh, we might try um, some multiplayer missions later on too, at some point. I'm not gonna... I'm not worried about that right now. That looks like the, the fighter we just traded in a couple episodes ago. Okay, so yeah, what we've got to do is we've got to go around and we've got to basically talk to everybody. So we'll start with uh, Hello Kitty here. <laughs> Hello, Light Traveler. Here you are, safe and so very welcome. Iteration, big old number, a perfect fit. This place was designed to receive you. Ask about this place. Yeah, let's ask about this place. Polo and Nada are best equipped to describe this place between places. They are here, not far, just at the top of these stairs. But I mean it when I say you are a perfect fit here. It is not a home for most, but a niche in the stars where you will always be welcome. Well, that was a nice thing for you to say. Can I talk to you anymore? Hello again, like traveler. Ask why they call you that. We already asked about the anomaly, so yeah, why do they call me that? I meet so many travelers here, so many faces, yet all of us alike, all lured by the imitation of the stars. We all pilot our ships, our suits, along the path that fights, uh, fits each of us. I remember every like face. You might say I collect them. Even if you change your visage, I will remember you. Okay, anything else? Ariadne includes their head 
politely, but says nothing further. Perhaps I should return another day. Okay. It was nice talking to you. All right, let's move on up. So we're going to talk to Nada and Polo, Polo first. And here they are. Hello, Nada. Priest Entity Nada. I am Priest Entity Nada, Divergent Corvax. Welcome to our anomaly. Our home here is pleasant. Yes, Polo's own design. A perfect bubble beyond the Sentinels, beyond vengeful Corvax. Nada watches time come and go. No, Nada watches time come and go. All right. Ask about... Hmm, I mean, I want to know about all of them, really, but let's start with Artemis. A traveler entity. Perhaps they are known to you. I do not know their number. Nada does not care to think about iterations as numbers. They were lost to us. Highly improbable. Our anomaly is lost to the Sentinels, but none should be lost to the anomaly. The Corvax watches me. There is a patience, an organic tilt to the way they hold their metal shell. Uh, okay, so he's basically just said he doesn't know anything about Artemis. <laughs> um, ask about the space station. Beyond what is outside, our anomaly wanders free, free like Nada, to observe, to search. The Sentinels, the Atlas, they do not care for this place. I feel their eyes hunting us. Nada's carapace pulses with a gentle light. There is something familiar about them. Okay, let's ask about Nada then. Nada awoke with the death of Corvax Prime. Could not understand why such things happen. Why we are alone. Now I am divergent. The convergence do not see through my eyes. Nada is not alone anymore. Nada is po with Polo Friend. Now many other friends visit. Our convergence is small, but Nada happy. The station has been calling to me since I woke up on the planet. Perhaps it, it called to Artemis as well. Ask about Polo. Polo Friend found Nada. Found my signal. Nada is safe. Now, Nada finds other signals, makes others safe. Nada watches me, judging my reactions as they speak. Speak with Polo, friend traveler. Perhaps they might know more about missing Artemis. They perceive things more clearly than Nada. All right, let's go talk to Polo. Hello, buddy. Friends everywhere, if only you know where to look. Friends in all shapes, all sizes, all places. Artemis friend, you are where they should be. Does not seem possible, but all things are possible. Such is the universe. Artemis friend, you are where they should be. Oh, he's basically saying Artemis should be here instead of me. But it doesn't and it doesn't seem possible, but they it is possible nonetheless. Uh, we will find them, no doubt. There is always a signal, always a trace. Ask how. Our home will see to it. When you leave, you will no not be where you were. You will be closer. Uh, okay, or maybe not. <laughs> Discovery is exciting, yes? Before you leave, perhaps spend some time with other friends. Help each other here. Okay. Um, the Space Anomaly is a hub for travelers, a nexus that unites them wherever they are in the universe. Use Nada and Polo's home to meet other travelers. Undertake missions, earn nanites, or upgrade your equipment. Okay. So, I think what we need to do now, and it's really loud. Hold on a second, I need, I need to turn my own volume down. This is like blaring in my ears here. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go around and talk to everybody that we can talk to. So, let's start with these guys here. Iteration Gemini. Hello, have we met? I don't believe so. I'm Gemini. This is Hesperus. Ask about Gemini. Me? I'm just staying here, just for a little while. Polo and Nada are very kind to all their friends. Gemini glances towards the bean at their side, their golden eyes contemplative. If it weren't for Hesperus, I'd probably still be alone out there, drifting from world to world, entire galaxies to discover, and no one to share it with. I've never found genuine company in the others, even the Gex. For all their talk of friendship, they all seem to want something. Hesperus is different. They've been a true companion to me. It was a pleasure meeting you. Say hello if you pass through again. We'll be right here, more than likely. Okay. Let's talk to Hesperus. Salutations. The sharp-eyed being stares at me, unblinking. They tell me their name, Hesperus, but rush through the words as though nuisanced by the introduction. Their focus is on me. Tell me, stranger, who exactly are you? A wanderer, a traveler? Say you are... I guess I'm a traveler. 
Hesperus mustache quivers when I mirror the term they have chosen. Traveler, the word hangs in the air. I believe we tread parallel paths, you and I, and yet, quite impossibly, we have met. Let us not make this our only encounter. All right. Sounds good, man. Uh, okay. So we will we'll talk to them at some other point in the future. Let's go talk to this feller. Iteration Helios. Ah, young one. You who still roam the boundaries of this universe. How I envy you. My time out in reality has a long past, but I miss it greatly. Perhaps you might help an old soul and share the things you've seen. I yearn for the stars, for the glory of discovery. Give data. Um, oh, you know what? I wonder... Well, let's go ahead and do it. I got some more stuff I need to upload. Uh, thank you, little one. You have no idea what this means to me. Please take these nanites. They are nothing, but they are all I have now. All right. How many nanites did I get? 150. Okay. Let's just look down over here. Wow, that's cool. That's like way down there. All right, let's come over here. And we'll talk to Iteration Ares. Traveler hopes to make progress. Traveler tests themselves. I will help. An exchange. Progress for progress. Or wealth, perhaps. Experience or materials. Both valid today. Gravitino balls. So we can give him our milestone data, and we can also apparently exchange gravitino balls, I'm assuming, for nanites, but we'll see. You have seen much, but do you understand? Not for me to know. Please take this. Okay. Oh, wow. 2,450 nanites? Oh, my goodness. That is a crap ton of nanites. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, this guy is the food guy. He's not really going to talk to us because we have to have, like, dishes. I promise I shall be honest. I do not promise you will be pleased. Okay. Yeah, so we have to offer dishes to this fella, and then I guess he gives us nanites or something for it. Um, this is the character customization. You know what? While we're here, we maybe maybe we should do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. I've been meaning to do this for a while now anyway. Okay, so we're going to see... Let's see. Traveler race. Viking. Anomaly. Gek. Corvax. Let's just stick with Anomaly. Um, presets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh, that's kind of Stormtrooper looking. That's kind of neat. 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Hmm. That's cool looking. I kind of like the stormtrooper look. But, um, yeah, let's go with this. But what I do want to do is I want to change our colors. Helmet type. So we're on, currently on helmet type number five. Oh, that's weird looking. I kind of like that helmet type. That one's not too bad either. That one's not too bad. Let's go with this helmet type. But we're gonna we're gonna do like primary color. We're gonna kind of do a blue theme here. Okay, torso style. Yeah, let's stick with that one. Primary color, secondary color. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay, armor. <clears throat> Alright, gloves, same thing, we'll just do... Those different things... Um, oh, th we forgot to look at the different types of gloves, though. So there's those, 
those, those markings. Those are kind of cool. I don't know. Those seem those seem like spacesuit gloves to me. These kind of do though too. Let's go with those. Let's go with those. Okay. Uh, legs. Leg style. No, that's weird. That's really weird. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think I like I think I like that the most. So that'll be our primary. And those will be our secondary. Boots. Let's look at boot style first. Those are interesting. Those are cool. Those are kind of cool. All right. I think I think I like those the most. Backpack. Can I turn him around so I can see what the backpack looks like? I don't know how to do that. Oh uh, yes, save. Okay, let's get back in here for a minute. Um, yeah, I don't. None of my controls that I'm pushing are letting me rotate him. So I don't, I'm not sure what backpack to use. Can we tell if we? I guess we'll just stick with one since I can't look at the damn thing. Let's go with that. Okay. And then banner. I think that's the Viking one. That's a Traveler, that's a Gek, that's a Gun, Corvax, not sure what that is. That's a Shield, that's the Credits, I kind of like the Viking one. There we go. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, I wish I knew how to turn them around so I could actually see the backpack though, but apparently that's, that's good. So we're definitely going uh, on the blue theme here, which is cool. And I think that's good. Left trigger exit? Yeah, let's go ahead and save. There's probably a way to do that in the... If I turn this way and access it? No, it doesn't let me do it. There's probably a way to do that in the, uh, you know, with just the normal mouse and keyboard, but... This will this will work for now. Those are hands. Okay, we'll go, we'll go over there last, because that's where all the vendors and stuff are. We've got a couple more characters to talk to over here, so let's talk to this feller. Iteration Mercury. <clears throat> he looks like an orc. Uh, have you stood before a portal, stranger? Felt it leech the life from your skin. Felt your chest burning as its power starts to melt your very being. Um, if I'm going to be honest, no, I have not stood before a portal. Thought not. A few have. Fewer still live to tell of it. I stood before the portal at Solith Prime, but did not cross the threshold. I reached out. Only the tip of my finger grazed the gateway. The next moment, I woke aboard the anomaly. I was transformed. The gateway here does not have the power of the ancient monoliths, though it shares aspects of their network. Use it as you wish. All right, will do. Mercury returns my nod. There is much understanding in this simple gesture. Okay. So this portal can get us back to our base. And it also allows us to go check out other people's bases, too. There's another guy over here we can talk to. Okay. A strange perfume surrounds this bean. It is pleasant, if a little stale. They look startled when I address them. Oh, hello, new friend. We've not met. You know what it's like. It's traditional to introduce yourself with an exchange of units. Ten units. Okay, we'll give them some units. Thanks. Well met. Bye now. What? Okay. <laughs> if you're still here. Oh, you're still here. Hmm, sorry, friend. I don't have anything to trade. Smell them, stare at them. Smell them, stare at them. Well, 
Either one of those is sort of kind of rude. Let's smell them. <laughs> Deathless looks uncomfortable, their pulse visible in their throat. All right, fine. Look, I admit it. I'm not a geck. I'm just another traveler passing through. Oh, uh, okay. Why did you lie? Tethys hesitates. Have you ever crossed paths with the Sentinels who patrol most of the worlds out there? Yes, I have. Then you know what it's like to be hunted by them. Suffice to say, the Sentinels and I had a conflict of interest, and now it's, my in, it's in my interest to lay low here. All right, I got you, man. I got you. We'll try and talk to him again later, because if I talk to him now, he's not going to—he's not going to talk to me. Okay, so I think that takes care of talking to all of the kind of uh, side people, I guess. I don't know what you call it. Whoa! There's actually collision on that guy. I ran into him. So the quest wants me to talk to Celine. So let's talk to her first, I guess. Oh, but before we do that, look at this. <laughs> Exosuit upgrade. Now, here's the thing that's cool about this, if you guys didn't know. Uh, we're going we're gonna to keep upgrading our cargo. It's 150 thou now. It keeps getting more expensive, all the way up to a million. But every time I summon the anomaly into a new system, I can redo this. I can get another suit upgrade, which is really neat. So basically, you can get two upgrades per system. One on the station, one from summoning the anomaly. Okay, let's talk to Celine here. Um, traveler, new. Your suit is an extension of yourself. Let me aid you. Research exosuit upgrades. Okay, so this is where we can get the upgrades for our exosuit. And we've got a nice little supply of, clus uh, of clusters. Excuse me. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and buy... Oh, why did you just leave? Oh, because you want to show me. Okay. All right, you're really going to make me, like, get into the menu every time? That's a little frustrating. Okay. Let's get this, this one. Oh, man. That's frustrating. Okay. Let's try it again. We'll... That's 580 nanites. We'll do three words. But you know what? That's going to help us out in the long run. You need a Corvax conversion cube for that. Okay. All right. That takes care of all the upgrades for the suit. Uh, this is building upgrades. Construction research station. So we need salvage data for this, which I guess we would have to pull off of our ship to buy. And I do want to get this stuff. I do want to get this stuff. So uh, now this is the starship filler. Every starship is special. An invitation to explore the stars. Let me tend to yours. Research starship upgrades. Lots of stuff that we want to get here. I'm not going to buy all of this stuff right now, though. Um, I've heard this... There goes the timer. I've heard this positron ejector is, is a really good upgrade. Um, what I would actually like, though, is the efficient thrusters, which we have here. Well, let's get that right now. And I think I will also, for the time being, research starship upgrades. Uh, large rocket. Optics shield. Larger launch system. Harvested light is used to fuse dihydrogen from the atmosphere. And over time, we'll refuel the launch thruster. Oh, we already have that, though, on our current ship. Right, okay, so I'm not going to buy that unless we happen to get into a ship that doesn't have one later on. But I think we'll... Let's get this Positron ejector, because I heard that's like a really good weapon. It's kind of more of a close-range weapon, though. Okay, so that's all we're going to do for, for him. Um, let's go over here. We're going to check the multi-tool. Hello? Can't quite get it to, to lock in there. Uh, there's a couple things I want to definitely get from the multi-tool guy. More power, stronger, faster, sharper, sharper, polished, refined, and sharpened with nanites. Research multi-tool upgrades. 
Okay, I want to get the optical drill. Ah, oh, doggone it. Don't kick me out of the menu. <laughs> frustrating. It is frustrating. After you've tried to do it about a dozen times. Alright, research multi-tool upgrades. So I want to get that, and I want to also... We're going to want this survey scanner at some point. I'm not sure that's something we need right this moment, though. Cartridges. Amplified cartridges. Basically, that gives us a bigger clip size. We already have the scatter blaster installed, so I'm not going to buy that now. Uh, we got the plasma beam. Scope. We already have the advanced laser. Well... Um, we do want this. I'm just not sure if I want to get it right this moment. Of course, we do have the nanites to do it. Yeah, let's get it. Okay, I think that's all we're going to do for him for the moment. Uh, this terminal is uh, not used for anything at the moment. And then this guy's just the uh, exocraft dude, which, of course, we're not that far along yet uh, to do anything. But we'll talk to him just so that we can say that we did. Okay. Excellent. All right, so I think what we need to do is... Uh, what do we need to do? Let's take a look at the quest. I know we're going over time here, but I didn't want to stop this uh, right in the middle because... Speak with Nana. Okay. Yeah, let's go speak with Nana. We have... From what I understand, you have to go through, talk to everybody, do all this stuff before you can uh, summon the anomaly to whatever system you happen to be in. Okay. Not in polar drift between worlds and worlds. There are many. Right trigger. Have you seen them, traveler friend? Not a wishes they could. Not a regrets much. Ask what to do. Traveler entity is free to make their own path. Find Artemis entity. Explore with others. Travel to great sites. Proceed as you will, traveler entity. We will aid you. Others will aid you also, even if you seek the Crimson Liar. Ask for help with exploration. Ask for help with Artemis. Ask about the Crimson Liar. Okay, I only get one choice here. Um, so I don't know exactly what effect the choice that I choose. I chose the Crimson Liar in multiplayer, and it gave me a pathway to find Atlas. But I, and then I couldn't talk to him. You know, couldn't make the other choices. So it's a one-time shot. But I don't know what that even means. I mean, I know what Atlas is from the original game. So, I don't know, let's just, let's do help with exploration. Of course, Nada will mark your map with a great wonder, but take your time with your journey. Find your pattern, speak to others on the station. They have things to offer you also. Return to us whenever you please, Traveler Entity. You are always welcome here. Alone amidst the stars. Return to space. Oh, open the inventory. Okay. The space anomaly. Continue to search for Artemis. All right, I don't think you have anything more to say to us, do you? We were so lonely, Nada and I, before we found each other. Before we found you, friend. All of you. So many friends to share this time with. You feel the same, I hope. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I do. I feel the same. Sure, why not? Can we do anything here? I don't think so. Alright, guys. Well, I think that's going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. And uh, so we found, we finally found the anomaly. Yay! Went around and talked to everybody. Got a couple of, of nice upgrades. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, consider sharing the video on your social media and also leaving a comment. Those things do help the channel and I greatly appreciate it. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.